What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we're looking at Scott's board again. Now, not because of anything that I've done, but he has been out riding it and then um, he's been hearing like a clicking noise from the wheels and we think it's the belts. And when I asked him how many miles he'd done on his belts, he said 3,000. Yes, 3,000 miles. I normally change my belts every 500 miles, but Scott's done 3,000 on this thing apparently, so I bet the belts are in a right state. So yeah, this will be how to change the belts on a 2018 Tramper Pro Drive. All right, the first thing to check if you think your belts might be excessively worn is to hold the motor and move the wheel. Now that could be that the belts need adjusting or that they've stretched out and they're just rubbish now. So I think that this is, uh, the belts are probably gone. So it's worth opening this and having a look. Now, as you can see guys, Scott's already made some improvements to his board, um, but uh, never mind that. What we need to do is we need to take out five of these bolts here. There's five of them that go all the way around. This one's a pain because it's right close to the phase wires. So yeah, we need to take those off, but first of all, we need to take the wheel off. And to do that, we need to deflate it. Deflate the wheel, loosen the superstar bolts and the main center knot. That's a 16 millimeter knot. And these are, I don't know what this is for. I think that's four. Yeah, anyway, can't do it with one hand, so I'll be back in a sec. Cool. Right, now the wheel is off. We take the V-ring seal off. And we need to take off these bolts. It's the same Allen key to get them off, so. Right, okay guys, once you've got all these bolts removed and the V-ring removed, there we go. Oh yes. Looking pretty gnarly in there. So, let's remove the belt. I'm gonna loosen off the motor. one in here too. Right, once you've loosened the motor off, it can move. Take the wheel pulley off. And then, all we need to do is just take the belt out and have a look at it. So look guys, this is absolutely worn, screwed. The idler, which is this device here, which keeps the belt tense, has rubbed off all of the markings. The belt's split, so look. Splitting the belt there. And the inside it's going to be hard for me to show you this on camera, but the tooth profile, if I get a new belt, you see how all these have all been flattened off the top? That's what's causing the belt to skip. But yeah, the worst, the worst part is that, I mean, come on, that's about to snap. So yeah, we'll put a new belt on, that's really easy to do, you can do it one-handed. Thread it round the idler, like that. Over the motor pulley, there we go. And now all we need to do is put this back on. Can't do this with one hand. It's a shame this is such a big bloody thing to work on. What we're gonna do is just thread the belt on, like that. And then we're gonna pull the motor so the belt tent tenses up. And we're just going to get it located. Right guys, now this is all tensioned up. Time to secure the motor. 
Don't go too mad with these motor bolts. They need to be tight, but they don't need to be too tight. If you go too mad with them, you'll just snap them. And there we go. Looking good. Right, cover back on. Sorry I ruined your, your decoration, Scott. Two long bolts go at the bottom. Right then guys, I'm gonna do the rest of these bolts up around here and then I'll come back to you. Right, okay guys, so the belt cover's back on and we wanna put the V-ring back on with the V side facing the plate. So that's the thin side. And there's a little groove that it sits in. Just get that sitting against there. Job done. Next, we're gonna go in with the bearing. Spacer, rubber seal, and then the wheel. And all we need to do now, guys, is line up these bolts with the holes that you see in there. And when we do that, we can screw it in. So let's do that now. So we're just going around, guys, in a star pattern. Just tighten these up a bit. Not fully tight yet. If one gets stuck, just back it out and then Screw it back in, it should go in. Lovely. Now we put the nut on. Right, that's gonna loosen off all of these now. And now we're just gonna tighten them in a star pattern again to about the same tightness. Lovely. Check the nut. Happy days. Right, so all we need to do now is just inflate this tire and just take it for a test ride. Well guys, I uh, just took it out for a test ride and it is fixed now, so both belts changed. Those belts are gnarly, man. Guys, change your belts. Don't leave it 3,000 miles. Ugh, that's for the bin.